Hi, my name is Zexor. Welcome to my Let's Play of Cholat. This is number eight. In this part, I actually myself. Why did you it? I didn't say anything. I said I, I said I didn't say I said Are you Uh I let's, let's see. I don't even know where I need to go. But I'm here, right? Um So you should go down. And then left. And then up to see what was on the other side of this bridge, I think, is the plan. Uh so I need to go um what was that southeast? Okay. Southeast would be this way. Well, that's south, right? And then... Yeah. Zexo, so why you got to go to the place where all the monsters are? Because I'm stuck on the mountain right now, trying to find uh, investigate what happened to the students. Right, but can't someone else come and do it for you and then you not, then you be safe? Yeah, right. Yeah. Except I'm the one that somebody else called so they would be safe. This is the bridge, it's broken, can't go there. Yeah, just keep going down. <clears throat> okay. Uh -huh. I don't know why I'm here except that people died. Why am I that's a good question, this queen. Why am I Mr. Investigator Pants? Why can't somebody else investigate? I have nowhere to go if I encounter something. The fire guy's here. I'm really screwed, I think, if the smoke guys are here. I might be able to kind of get a little bit past them, but I don't even know. Another campfire. Yeah, I think... I don't know how you get up and over to the other side. Can I let's kill me or can I do this? Let's see. I can do this. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Next song, go. Go say before you die. I know, right? And this is another. Yeah, jump to other. Okay, so there's this. Oh no, the oh here. This campfire. Okay. And I can jump to there. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Uh. Okay, I came from there, so I guess I want to go... Wait. Are there two different ways to go? Yeah. I came down from there. I want to kind of go. Yeah, basically north. Well, they're both basically north, though. Okay, I don't want to go to the right, I think, yet. I think. Oh, no. I can't go there anyway. Yep, I guess I go to the right. Okay. <clears throat> smart like this I think I'm gonna miss and die pretty soon that's not good why is everything lighting up welcoming gosh flippin' really no really it's this storm stuff again crap no Stop! Stop, Storm, stop! Please! Please stop! Oh, I'm screwed, I think. I think the storm's gonna kill me. What's at the top here? What's at the top? He. Human beings' mind is a curious toy. Consumed by pain and madness. It resists, but defends itself. 
for what can set it free. The path to understanding leads through contradiction. We deny one simple fact. The fact that humans are the real monsters. And as such, we should treat each other. Although I had been deluding myself otherwise for so many years, I have finally figured out my true nature. Remember that in the darkness, you are never alone. There is always someone who awaits your fall. Um, suck? So what the? Uh, I don't understand. You now going to get killed? Maybe. Yeah. It's very possible. <laughs> okay, so I go back down. I guess. So there was a note there, so that saves it. That's good. Sector! That was pretty poignant! Poignant, huh? Yes! The human hearts are like the mountain, icy and cold. Yeah. That's a good point. Oh, there's a note over here. That was a logbook, I guess. There's a note here, though, an actual note. Anything coming, though? I don't wanna. Soviet research unit for natural phenomenon uh, regarding the occurrence of anomaly OH-91. First incidents took place in 1950 and 1953 in the area of Igarka by the construction of the transpolar mainline. The works were halted and the incidents classified. Any witnesses were ordered to be eliminated. On October 17, 1950, according to witness evidence, at the same altitude as Camp 503 to the west of Igarka City, an emanation of unknown force and source occurred and caused instant death of 42 workers. The bodies literally evaporated and only shadows were left, as the witnesses testified. The incident was sudden and short. The next incident took place three years later, on March 14, 1953. Then, also in the above-mentioned camp, a solidification effect occurred. The bodies of 12 workers just froze. After autopsy, they were declared dead. The bodies are still lying intact in Section 12 of the Seversk Research Complex. Yeah. I never... I'm always nervous after reading one of these notes that something's going to be angry that I got the note or whatever. Map. So this was the light area that Sean Bean was talking about, I think. And then here's the note. So we want to go basically south and to the end of this, I think, first. And then I'll try to come around this stuff. And then I guess, it looks like there's probably no way through. So then I guess we go all the way back up down to here and then down through this, I guess. So, uh, got the note, that's heading that way, so I actually want to go back, I think, and take that direction. Why am I here? What is this place? Sexo y col colat, si col... That was Sean Bean say anyway. That's true. Sean Bean did say that. It's true. <clears throat> I'm so like... I don't know where's safe and where's dangerous now. This is very bad for me. I think I might have to scream. 
very soon, very soon. The snow does not make it easy. Well, that, I think there was a smoke thing. Was there not? I didn't see the, the thing is I didn't see the fiery footprints. But I saw what looked like a wisp of smoke. Was that not? All right, all right, all right. Place your bets, place your bets. Smoke monster, no smoke monster. Was Exo hallucinating? I got 10 to 1 odds, says he was. Any takers? I got any takers. Over here, over here. Taker, yeah. Oh, maybe not. Jeez. Crapping. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't need this right now. Oh, wait, what? Like... Phone lines or telephone lines? Tele I don't know what those are. <laughs> Why does everything want to go back to like this foresty area? That doesn't sound good. Nothing bad ever happens in a forest. I have no idea where the Slender Man is. I don't have like a radar or something. I don't know where he is. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. What the grabbing? Where am I? It's, I don't even know where I am now. I'm in trouble, is what I am. Okay, 72 north, 64 east. Hopefully nothing comes while I'm looking at the map. 72 north, 64 east. 72 north, 64 east. Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, so curving to the right. Oh, okay, that other stuff is the other path. I see. So I'm going to go over this way. Left for me. What? No, please don't kill me now. This looks very bad to me. <laughs> I'm sure there's no danger here. Everything is probably fine. Let's grab this. The weather is pretty good. We have the wind at our back. We arranged with the locals that they will give us a ride to the location of the second camp. We helped them unload the carts and waited for the horses. At approximately 4 p.m., we set off to continue our journey. We managed to replenish food supplies so we could eat something on our way there. The horses are moving slowly. It's making me sleepy. It's getting dark. The second camp was an abandoned village. We found a house to stay at overnight. In total darkness, we started setting up a fireplace. Everyone cut themselves on nails sticking out of the boards. Apart from that, everything was okay. Then, it all started. What? No. No, do not start. Do not start. Do not start with me. No. I wish I were somewhere else right now. Seriously. Alright. So I guess, yeah, I go around here, and like this, I guess. Jeez. Fan friggin' tastic. <sighs> Just FYI, I don't like this. This is very bad for me. 
I cannot really see what dangers are out there now. This is probably, okay, that's back up. That's not what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna go follow, I guess, follow the power lines. <laughs> There's not really like anywhere. I mean, I guess I could run back, oh, the back of the way I came. Oh, suck. Another one of those guys? That can't be good. 5871. No. 5871. That's right, right? Wait, 58? Yeah, 58. Where? 58. What? I'm way over there? Jeez, I'm like not even on the path. Like, even close to the path. Where, where am I going? Crap. No! What? No. No, stop. Suck. Oh my god. Stop. Game, stop. I didn't even know, too, like, what was left versus... It's one cool and kind of freaky thing about the game, right, is there are paths that aren't on the map, which is, I mean, makes sense, but, like, that means that you could get lost and possibly trapped by something very bad. So one of them, I get, I'm... I'm I don't know, right? I'm guessing these like light things are like echoes or whatever of the students, like where the students had been. If that's true, then one of them went up this way somewhere. I don't know where, though. Let's go. I came from there. Let's go this way. Sure. Let's go this way. Mm. Here. Dr. Grigor Anatowicz's testimony on Anomaly 0H91. We have never seen such a thing. The activity was off the scale. The energy readings, it was just beyond any reason. I remember Dr. Pitnik. He said he had heard singing. He saw angels appearing from the light. It was clear to us that it was dangerous to stay too close to the anomaly for too long. We had to conduct more tests, therefore we decided to use the prisoners. This is why we created Section 22. Crap. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. That music. I was really nervous that entire time reading. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Map? Where am I now? Yeah, I'm down over here. Okay. Have I ever gone from way over there to way over here? The cramping. I still don't understand, but okay. Um... I don't know if there's going to be anything at the dead end here. I think I'm just about good, but uh, north, east, and then back up this. Oh, I could go over to this, I guess. Maybe. So basically just north. Like north, north. Stop. Music, stop. You're really making me nervous. All right, so north, north, east. Over like that way? What the crap? Because this is south. Further south? Now it's like southwest. I don't even know like where I'm going. Except that I'm not heading the way the map says. So oh this is back to okay. I got it. That's back to that. Okay. This is just east. 
Death! Oh, hi! F! Ah! The thing is, if he was there, does that mean I should go that way because he's guarding something? I don't even know. Back. I don't think he saw me. So maybe I don't want to go that way at all. I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know, like, I kind of want to go that way now because he's there, but... Because I think he's, like, guarding something, but I don't know, right? Yeah. Won't let me through the trees, though. Now won't let me go at all. Really, I got stuck. I got stuck. I can't get out. I can't back out. I can't go left. I can't go... I can't even run out. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, yeah, I guess you can see him right there, too. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, okay, yeah. I, I mean, I guess. I don't know. I guess that's just where we're going to end this part. So, thanks everyone for watching. This has been my Let's Play of Halat. Uh, number, what is this, eight? My name is Zexor. If you've enjoyed this, please let me know. I... Uh, like the video if you enjoyed this, comment if you have anything to say, subscribe if you haven't done it so yet. Uh, follow me on social media, media such as Twitter, I'm at Zexor Weglin. Twitch, the channel is Zexor Weglin. I live stream every Sunday morning at uh, 7 a.m. Pacific time, uh, so 10 a.m. Eastern time and 3 p.m. London time. Uh, and, uh, I'm on Facebook. The page is Zexor.Weglin and Instagram Zexor.Weglin. Keep up to date with the latest things on my channel, including reminders about live streams that are coming up, coming giveaways and more. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Till next time. Peace.